Hi everyone, welcome back to the Leo Nails channel. My name's Sarah Clark and in this video we're going to be doing Christmas, seeing as we've decorated the studio. We're going to do a Christmas gonk on Ella's fun with Sculpting Farm. So I'm going to start by using a medium sand and band on a low speed just to go round the cuticle area. Lightly dust over the surface of the nail. File the tip into shape. Then dust that off. We'll apply dehydrator. Take our sculpted bomb, take the sticky tab off, pop it on the back, give it a little wiggle. What shape we're going to do? We'll do like an <coughs> almond stiletto shape, so we have his beard. Everyone loves a Christmas gong, don't they? Mm -hmm. My customers have already put the orders in for this. To be gonkified. Yes. Look at our big giant gong there. <laughs> I love a gong. No one knew what it was when I got it last year. They were all like, what's a gong? I was like, oh. How rude. I'm going to use crystal clear for the base. That on the free edge we'll use this to make our tip. Ellie, you're very stiff. Sorry, I'm not normally, am I? No. I think it's because your hands are freezing. I know, they <laughs> always cold, aren't they? I'll loosen off in a minute. Try and It's a really thin layer because we're going to use this tip for the beard, so we don't want it to be too thick. Work perfectly fine on a tip for all those that don't like to sculpt. Let that dry and then we'll file it. Then we're ready for our design. So we'll use 
<clears throat> pure white for the beard and a 3D brush. Pop a bit down, probably a bit dry. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to ruffle up the beard anyway. <clears throat> do you do many gonks at Christmas time? Yes, I do. They're very popular, aren't they? types of gonk or is it just the same gonk on everyone's finger? Well, I try and talk them into getting the same one so that I can just <laughs> be an autopilot. So then we're going to take a slanted brush, six, and just add a bit of texture to the beard while the acrylic's wet. Just gently, you can add a little bit more acrylic if you need. And then take a small dotting tool and add some deeper lines. And we're going to go back to our 3D brush, Stormy Skies. It's grey. This is for the hat. So you want to pat out the acrylic on the top, just overlapping that beard a little bit. Keep your acrylic quite wet because we're going to put some texture in this as well. Back to the slanted brush. Going to make a little ridge here. for the bubble to go. Back to the dotting tool, put some deeper lines into it. Add a little bit more to give it more dimension if you want. The beauty of this is it doesn't need to be perfect, so you can just keep adding bits, taking bits away with your dotting tool. Funny, I was because it doesn't really look like anything at the minute, does it? As soon as you've had the nose, it'll be all, all done. You can see it straight away. It once comes the nose. alive when you've had the nose. Are you ready mentally to be doing 100 of these a week? No, I'm not. Uh, no one's mentally ready for that. Doesn't matter how many Christmas rushes I do, I'm never ready. Then we'll take a small bead of Snow White. Bleed it out. Just pop it down, it'll find its place. This one's Caramel Dream, this is for his nose. It's a nice gonk nose colour this. Same again, just touch it down. Don't need to mess about with it too much. And 
And we're going to go back to the Snow White and take some tiny, tiny little dots. Just with the very tip of your 3D brush, just take some little dots, pop them down randomly on his hat. Just let him dry and that is it. Very simple way of making a Christmas gunk. So we'll just add a little bit of cherry cuticle oil to this. Everyone should have a Christmas gunk on their thumb anyway. Hope you all enjoyed that video. If there's any other Christmas designs you would like to see, please comment down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. I can't believe I get that shit job. <laughs>